Hi, good morning. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, marrow on MRI. So we have three components of the marrow. You have to think about the trabecular bone or the bony housing which uh, provides the structural framework or integrity and it's also um, the one which stores the minerals. And then you have the red and the yellow marrow. We have a bit of a difference between the composition of the red and the yellow marrow. The red marrow contains roughly an equal amount of water and fat, while the yellow marrow contains a bit more fat than water. And this explains the difference that we see on MRI. Also remember that your red marrow consists of the active and cellular components. Meaning, if you have more red blood cells, white blood cells, and vascularity, you will have an increased collective amount of fluid. For example, the fluid inside the cyto cytoplasm of those cells. Explaining why you have more water signal in red marrow compared to the yellow marrow. The yellow marrow is the inactive component of the marrow. So, it depends upon the need of the body. An inactive marrow can be converted into active or cellular marrow when the need arises. So let's take a quick look at this example. In this T1-weighted sequence, we see that the yellow marrow is bright, of course, because it has a fat content, while the red marrow is a bit patchy here in the metaphysis and is a bit darker compared to the yellow marrow. But if we compare the red marrow with, uh, with the muscle, it becomes a little bit hyper intense compared to the muscle because your red marrow will have more fat in it compared to the muscle. On the T2-weighted sequence, we can see here that this is a fat null sequence, fat sat. The yellow marrow has a darker signal now. And your red marrow becomes bright in signal, again, because of its higher water content. And if we compare the, fatty, uh, the red marrow with the adjacent muscle, it should be intermediate or iso-intense in order to call it normal. If you get a marrow signal, which is much, much whiter than the adjacent muscle, it's already abnormal. Just think about it. You have, if you have a red marrow that is too cellular, too vascular, and you get uh, an increased number of cells in their cytoplasm, you'll get a, ma a marrow signal which is too white, just like this example. A red marrow which is too white or much whiter than the adjacent muscle is abnormal. So that's for your T2, steer, and fat sat. What about T1? Look out for a marrow which is much, much darker than the adjacent muscle or this, and that is abnormal. Let's take a look at this example. T1-weighted sequence. Your vertebra has... Uh, a signal which is much darker compared to the adjacent disc. That means the component or the marrow within this vertebra has lost um, its, the, its fatty component within the red marrow. And in this case, the patient had a marrow proliferative disorder or reconversion of the fat into red marrow because of uh, need for it. Look at this patient's uh, knee. You get this abnormal marrow signal in the diaphysis and the metaphysis. When you take a look at the signals, it's a bit um, iso-intense compared to the muscle, but the extent is too much. 
Normally, you can get a bit of a patchy red marrow here, but not as homogeneous and as extensive as this. Because in this patient with um, sickle cell anemia, there was a need for the body to reconvert the yellow marrow in the diaphysis into red marrow, hence explaining this abnormal uh, distribution.